In this video, we're going to learn about the size underscore t type in C. So typically speaking, when using functions like the string length function inside the string.h library, we'll store the return value from the function using an int variable. So for example, we could include string.h. Then we'll make a string called string, and we'll store in that string a, b, c, d, e, f. Then we'll make a variable called length, and we're gonna use the string length function and we're gonna store the return value of the string length function into this length variable. And typically speaking, this is what we do. We treat the return value of the string length function as an int, and we store it into an int variable. We could then use this length variable to loop through the string and output each character in the string one at a time. So we'll make this loop that has a counter variable i, and we'll have i go from zero up until the length of the string. And we'll output the index of each character in the string as well as the character at that index as well. And if we save and compile and run our program, it's going to work perfectly fine. We don't even get any warnings or errors either. But technically speaking, the return type of the strlen function is size underscore t and not int. So why should we care about this size underscore t type and what is it? So size underscore t is defined using a type def in several libraries, such as string.h and std.io.h. And many of the functions in these libraries actually use the type size underscore t and not int. Size underscore t must be large enough to represent the size of any object in C. In other words, things in memory like strings. Size underscore t is defined as of C version C99 to be an unsigned int stored using at least four bytes of memory. And unsigned int means that size underscore t values cannot be negative. The key takeaway here is that the range of values that size underscore t can store is going to be greater than int as far as the positive integers are concerned. So size underscore t is going to have a minimum range of zero to about four billion. Now the problem is, regular int variables are not gonna be able to store numbers this large. So int variables will use either two bytes or four bytes. If two bytes are being used, the range of an int is gonna be about negative 33,000 to about positive 33,000. With most modern systems and compilers, we can expect that four bytes will be used for int variables, and they'll be able to store positive int values up to about two billion but size underscore t has a range up to about 4 billion. The reason it's different is that we can only represent so many numbers with four bytes of information, and size underscore t being an unsigned int is only representing positive numbers, whereas the int variable is splitting the possible numbers it can represent between positive and negative numbers, and so it can only represent about half as many positive numbers as size underscore t. So if our program is using very large numbers in places where size underscore t is the return type, we could run into problems if we try storing the return value into an int variable. So let's go over an example of trying to store a number in that range into an int variable. So up here, we'll create an int variable. We'll say int underscore int is equal to, and we'll assign it the maximum value that an int variable can store. Then we'll just try to print out this value. So we'll say printf underscore int percent d backslash n, and we'll output this underscore int variable. And if we save and compile and run our program, it's going to work okay. And that's because that's the maximum value that an int variable can store. But if we increase that value by even one, it's not going to work. So we'll try this. We'll save it, compile it, and run it. And now we get this negative number here. So what's happened is what's called integer overflow or int overflow. Basically, we're trying to store a number that's too big into an int variable. And we can almost think of it as wrapping around and becoming a negative value again. Now, size underscore t can store a value this big. So we'll create a size underscore t type variable. And we'll try to store this value in it. So we'll say underscore size underscore t is equal to and then we'll print out the variable. So we'll say printf 
underscore size underscore t colon. We're going to use percent zu to output a size underscore t variable backslash n and then underscore size underscore t. So here the u means unsigned integer and z is a length modifier that's going to allow us to output an integer up to size underscore t's maximum range. So we can save this, compile it and run it. And this is going to work. So we actually can store this number in a size underscore t type variable. So that's the big difference. We could end up with bugs in our code if we try to use int variables to store size underscore t size values. For example, if our program is really working with strings that are this big, we can figure out the maximum value that a size underscore t type variable can store on our system by printing out the predefined preprocessor constant size underscore max. So we can print out size underscore max. And again, we'll use ZU followed by a new line and we'll output size underscore max. And this is a predefined preprocessor macro constant. And up here, we'll include the std int library where size max is defined. And if we save and compile and run our program, we get this large number here. And that's because on my system, 64 bits or eight bytes must be used to represent size underscore T values. So that's why we get that large of a number. Now you'll find that very often in online examples, int variables are used where size underscore T types are expected. And that's just because we don't really experience this issue unless we're working with very, very large numbers. But it's really important that we're at least aware of this issue because if our program is going to work with numbers that large, it's essential that we use the size underscore T type. So that's what the size underscore T type is in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.